Welcome to another tutorial about fly fishing here from Nordic Anglers. And my name is Daniel and today we're doing this. We're going to fish for sea trout in, in a fjord in Denmark. But, but the things we're going to discuss, the things we're going to talk about today can be applied to still water fishing as well in lakes. Uh, we're going to fish with the Duke booby because it's an awesome way of fishing and, uh, and the flies here have a really, really unique movement pattern in the water and they are irresistible to the trout. So that's what we're doing today. When you're fishing these booby flies, the general idea here is, is to have a line that sinks so it will drag the fly down and whenever you retrieve it the fly will move really really erratic due to the ice and then as soon as you stop retrieving then the fly will, will bounce and, and just wriggle its way up towards the surface. That's the idea behind these booby flies. In order for me to actually achieve that when fishing in relatively or in really shallow water like in this fjord um, I had to uh, I had to test out a lot of different things and try out a lot of different uh, uh, aspects to to get the right effect. Because if you're fishing in a lake, for instance, where this fishing has been uh, uh, has been developed, then often you have quite a lot of water and you can use a really fast sinking line from a boat even um, and not have any problems. The same in, with the regards to to the the video we did uh, from from that Swedish lake. If you haven't seen that, then I, I urge you to do so. Um, it's it's a full instructional video on how to fish booby in in a lake. Um, but but we had to rethink this whole scenario. So what was important for me was to find something that worked on my existing setup on both my five weight and my six weight and that was easy to change on and off so I didn't need to carry a complete set of, of gear just for that, a complete line, a complete reel and stuff. So um, we've been testing out quite a lot of different pulley leaders. Uh, pulley leaders are these extensions of the fly line that are, do not weigh as much as the fly line but they have a bit of weight in their own right. Um, I've tried some from a lot from Scientific and a lot from uh, from Rio in both 6, 7 and 10 feet length um, with, uh, with, with different sinking rates. And what I find is the most ideal one is the one I have on here. It's the lightest of them all. So it's, it's, the, it's the one that does not, that, does, that affects the, the tapering of, of my fly line uh, the least. This is the Rio Versiliter uh, Trout. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and even on my floating line and even on my five weight like this is, it, it works really, really well. It, it, it drags the fly down uh, as, as I would like it to and, uh, and it does not compromise my casting too much. Of course, it compromises my casting a little. And if you're fishing in completely calm water, then, then this, this can be a bit difficult to cast. But if you just have a bit of wind, just the, the, the smallest amount of wind to help you carry and stretch the, the line, then this works really, really well. So um, I'm normally not a huge fan of, of the poly leaders and it's something that I haven't been using for a long time. But for this fishing, it's, it's what I would recommend because it gives you a completely new set of techniques to actually fish while you're on the water with a minimum of efforts uh, in regard to changing. Because all it basically requires is, I have here my Volensis fly line on my five weight and what I've done is basically I have removed the nine feet fluorocarbon leader that I normally use and then I've just added this seven feet uh, Rio Versi tip leader um, and uh, and and this uh, uh, when you when you mount this it has it has a loop already and what basically I've done is add just about meter and twenty maybe a meter or, or, or yeah around that uh, of, of fluorocarbon in 0 0.28 and then the fly. This means that you can actually tie some booby flies, add them to your arsenal of, of, of coastal or, or lake flies, and then just bring one of these versiliters to the water. Then if you have the flies and you have the leader, you can very easily and very fast change and be able to do the booby fishing as well with your existing, uh, existing gear. 
you don't have to change the full line. Um, I mean, for some lakes, it, it would be more ideal with a full line, but for shallow waters and stuff like that, this is a really, really well-functioning um, and well-working setup, and uh, and it really does the job. So with a with a with a single pulley leader um, and uh, and and some booby flies, you're good to go. Also for sea trout on the coast like this. The flies uh, for fishing this uh, this booby style fishing is of course uh, the most or one of the most crucial elements. There is the flies and then there is the sinking line or the sinking leader. But when we talk about flies there is of course you have the opportunity to create and design exactly those type of patterns and those type of colors that you uh, would like the most and, and that suits your fishing. But what I would like to discuss here and talk a little more in depth about is the actual size of the eyes. Because uh, we carry these at Nordic Anglers in a, in, in, in a variety of different sizes, but, but primarily in 4 millimeters, in 6 millimeters, and in 8 millimeters. And these sizes are really important um, in regards to how your fly will behave in the water. So we have the really small one here, this is the uh, four millimeter, and I use this on fairly small flies, uh, not bigger than let's say a size 10, um, a size 10 and smaller. And, uh, and, uh, and of course, if you, if you use the really small eyes, then the, uh, then, then the, the booby effect or, or the effect of the fly um, rising towards the surface is of course gonna be less uh, less explosive than if you use larger eyes on smaller hooks. So the smaller the eyes, the uh, the more you get a fly that's that's mainly just hovering, that doesn't dive that much and doesn't bounce too much towards the surface when you stop retrieving. And the bigger you, the eye you you uh, you use, the more intense is this movement towards the surface. And when you start stripping, then it moves down again. Um, a general rule you can apply to this is this the size uh, the size four millimeter is good for maybe a size 10 and uh, and smaller then the size uh, the size 6 mm eyes can be used on 10 6 and uh, on 10 8 and 6 where 6 is perhaps a bit bigger and you won't get as much of a bouncing effect uh, as as you will with uh, with the biggest size which is the size of, uh, 8 mm and the 8 mm is is probably is is without a doubt the one that gives the best effect and for for bigger streamers for coastal fishing and bigger booby flies then the 8 mm is the right way to go so you have to take this into account when you when you design your flies um, how much do you want them to actually pop how much do you want them to 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 move towards the surface and to dive when you pull them um, compared to the actual hook size that you use and um, because the the heavier the hook um, the more it will it will even out the the buoyancy effect of, of the ice of course so so take that into consideration when you design exactly your own uh, booby style flies for your local waters the size of the ice does matter The retrieval of uh, the retrieving of the fly is also uh, very important um, because you can you can optimize and really really uh, uh, make make good use of the way that the the fly bounces and then you know s dives down and then bounces if you make your strip relatively short and relatively uh, uh, relatively I don't know what you say that not sturdy but. Abrupt, yeah, exactly abrupt. So, so basically, you you make a you make a short pull, and then and then you give the fly a bit of time to to wriggle its way up towards the surface, and then you make another one. So, so, so very very distinct um, retrieves is uh, is 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 the best way to retrieve the fly, um, at least in in my experience. 
Um, but there's one thing that's really important because a lot of the time, a lot of the time, the fish strikes the fly when it's when it's uh, it's bouncing up towards the surface. So so what you can what what is is really crucial and important is to keep uh, uh, as much um, uh, keep a very close contact with the fly. So so when you do this, make sure that your rod tip is pointed uh, not into the surface but almost. So you have and 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 your rod is pointing directly in the uh, in the in, uh, in the direction of the fly so you don't have too much slag and stuff because then you will you will experience or probably you won't experience some of the takes that uh, that the fish actually makes because they grab the fly in the pauses when the when the fly is 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 bobbing up towards the surface so so make sure that you you really have a, have a, a tight line and a straight line from from you directly to the fly and that you have as close a contact to the fly uh, via the fly line as possible because otherwise there will be there will be opportunities and and hookups that you miss um. Um, but you can you can of course vary this uh, a lot. You can you can make really long long strips and then in in the in the end of them just make a little twitch, so so that the fly really bounces in the, in the last phase of, of the retrieve. Or you can make short fast uh, fast retrieves that makes the fly kind of dive and then uh, move very erratic in the water. Um, and and as always, you know, try the di some different things on the day until you find something that works, and then and then you know proceed doing that um, uh, another thing that uh, that i find when when you fish with the with the floating line like this um, and the uh, and the pulley leader i mean pulley leader is not something that for any other fishing that that i that i strongly recommend because i like a I like a 9 or a 12 uh, foot um, fluorocarbon leader uh, very much in order uh, in regards to presentation but for this you need the the pulley leader um, and 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 because the the pulley leader is sinking um, and has some some more weight that adds to your fly line then then of course it can bounce a bit out there it's it's I find it's only actually a problem if if it's if it's not windy at all, if it's completely calm. If it is windy, then, then there's no problem. Uh, the, the, the wind will help carry your fly out there and, and stretch your leader. But, but it can be a, a, a neat trick to every now and then, basically just, just slow down the speed of the line as it moves, as it flies away from you, um, to ensure that, uh, that the fly is delivered uh, furthest away and then the presentation is, is as it should be. That's, that's it for now, folks. Um, when we're doing projects like this, when we're filming projects like this, um, often we're we are fortunate and lucky enough to catch some fish. Um, but, but, but when doing bigger projects like this booby on, on the coast uh, has been, then there's always the chance of you striking zero or, and, and not hitting the fishing in the time you have allotted to that particular project. And that's the case with this, this project here. We, uh, we had some rough conditions on the two days where we actually had the time uh, to, to, to fish this. I caught two smaller fish on, on the boobies, but, but both of the time Stefan was filming some B-roll and another place. So, um, so we know that this booby fishing works also for the Danish sea trout. Um, and, and throughout um, this period of time where we have, where we have you know, uh, tried this and, and uh, th with all the, uh, all the tutorials on booby fishing, what I can see is uh, I've gotten a lot of messages from people all around Denmark who have, who have picked up this booby type of fishing for the coastal sea trout and who have a great success with it. So we did not catch any fish on these two days where we that we have uh, allocated to filming this, but that doesn't mean that the type of fishing doesn't work. So take this video for what it is. It's meant as an inspiration. It's meant as, as, as to present something that challenges the, uh, the, the usual way of doing things. And uh, I would urge you to tie a few booby flies, buy a sinking leader, and then take that along with you when you fish for sea trout and try it out. Because um, every now and then it's good to try something new. And, uh, and I know that this type of fishing is really, really effective. It catches a lot of fish 
it just didn't on the two days where we were out filming this exact movie. I'm gonna bring boobies from now on on my coastal fishing. I'm gonna bring a singing leader and, uh, and hopefully you will see some more film clips of fish with booby in their mouth. Did I? <laughs> um, in, 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 in the upcoming films. Um, uh, it's a bit hard to keep a straight face. I, I, I promise you I didn't intend for that to, to sound as it did. But what I want to say is thank you so much for watching. You can buy all the gear, find all the gear that are used in this movie and, and all the other movies at Nordic Anglos. My name is Daniel and I thank you a lot for watching and wish you the best of luck out on the water.